question 11. The question says the value of energy equivalent to 4 atomic mass unit that is a mu in mega electron volt will be. There are 4 options 3726 mega electron volt, 2762 mega electron volt, 3264 mega electron volt or the fourth option which is 2332 mega electron volt. Dear students, we know that 1 amu is equivalent to 931.5 mega electron volt. Based on similar lines, 4 amu will be equal to 4 into 931.5 that is 3726 mega electron volt. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number A. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 12. The question says in a practical meter bit circuit as shown when one more resistance of 50 ohm is connected parallel with unknown resistance x then the ratio L1 by L2 becomes 2. The value of x is L1 is the balance length and AB is the uniform wire. The four options are 100 ohms, 50 ohms, 200 ohms and 25 ohms and the diagram is given as in front of you. Dear students, if we connect a 50 ohm resistance in parallel to x then the resistance of this particular part let it be equal to r r can be written to be equal to 50 x by 50 plus x now it is given that the ratio l1 by l2 becomes 2 now from the concepts of the meter bridge 50 ohms divided by r that is this resistance divided by this resistance will be equal to L1 by L2 and this is given to be equal to 2. We can substitute the value of R from the above expression and we can write down that 50 divided by 50x by 50 plus x will be equal to 2. Now if we solve it further, we get a value of x to be equal to 50 ohms and hence for this question the correct answer is option B that is 50 ohms. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 13. The question says the average rotational kinetic energy for a diatomic gas molecule is Kb is the Boltzmann constant, T is the absolute temperature. The four options are 3 by 2 Kbt, 7 by 2 Kbt, Kbt or the last option which is 5 by 2 Kbt. Dear students, as per the law of equipartition of energy that is equipartition of energy. The average thermal energy for gas molecules per degree of freedom is equal to half of Kbt. Now for diatomic gas molecules, the number of degrees of freedom associated with the rotational motion is 2 that is n is equal to 2. So the average rotational kinetic energy will be equal to 2 into half Kbt giving us a value of Kb and hence for this question the correct answer is C option that is KBT. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 14. The question says in an electromagnetic wave the amplitudes of magnetic field B0 and electric field E0 in free space are related as B0 is equal to E0, B0 is equal to E0 by C square, B0 is equal to E0 root epsilon naught by mu0, epsilon naught here is the permittivity of vacuum and mu0 is the permeability of the vacuum or B0 is equal to E0 root epsilon naught mu naught. Dear students, from the properties of the electromagnetic waves, we must know that B naught can be written to be equal to E naught by C. Also, C is equal to 1 by root epsilon naught mu naught. If we substitute the value of C in the first expression, we can get that B naught is equal to E naught into mu naught epsilon naught. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option D that is B naught is equal to E naught root mu naught epsilon naught. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 15. The question says the dimensional formula of velocity gradient is the four options are M0 L2 T minus 1, M0 L0 T minus 1, ML0 T minus 1 or ML T minus 1. The velocity gradient can be written as dV by dx where x is the distance. We can take the dimension and the dimension of velocity is equal to L t minus 1 while the dimension of dx is equal to the dimension of x that is the dimension of distance and that will be L 
Now L will get cancelled from the numerator and the denominator and our final answer will be M0 L0 T minus 1. Meaning for this question the correct answer is B that is M0 L0 T minus 1. Now let us move to the next question.